Alright, so today I'm going to do a video on a theme that I've kind of touched on before, but that uh, recent events have caused me to revisit. And basically this is inspired by several things. Um, mainly, I watched a, well, not completely all of, but part of a documentary on HBO called Vito about the um, gay pride movement after the Stonewall riots in the 1970s. And also, um, sort of my reactions to some of the things that I've had um, Facebook friends post on Facebook about the whole Chick-fil-A brouhaha. And first, I want to say that I do have some discomfort with some of the, I guess, extreme um, reactions to um, the Chick-fil-A situation. Um, but, I totally understand why people have made a big deal about it and, you know, th that, that the founder of Chick-fil-A would proudly give money to organizations like Exodus International, I mean, pretty much says it all as far as why people should be completely disgusted with the organization and um, its quote-unquote family values, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, you know, I guess it's sort of, I mean, I could compare it to and a lot of people I know would be uncomfortable with this comparison, but I could compare it to the way that um, countries boycotted South Africa during apartheid, toward the end of apartheid. Um, and a lot of people would say, oh, well, it's, it's totally different. And yes, it is very different. But it's also very similar in a lot of ways. Um, Sexuality is an important part of human nature, of people's lives, of people's identity. And to tell a significant minority of people that they are disordered and sinful because... Um, they're not able to <laughs> reprogram their own brains to be attracted to um, the gender that they're supposed to be attracted to and only the gender that they're supposed to be attracted to. Uh, it's, it's insane. <laughs> and it's also insane considering that um, what as many as one in a thousand people have some sort of gender ambiguity at birth or something that is revealed later that makes them uh, maybe either have characteristics of both sexes or have characteristics, sexual characteristics that um, sort of make gender uh, more of a gray area than it is for the other 999 out of a thousand people. And the message from from people like the, the Chick-fil-A founder seem to be that those people that don't fit into the majority should just dry up and, and blow away and disappear and understand that they're never going to be accepted. They're never going to have the same rights as everybody else. Um, they're never going to be cared for or 
um, be treated with the same compassion and respect as everyone else. And it's disgusting. So, let's talk about family values and what family values homophobia promotes. Dishonesty. Um, because we all know that dealing with people dishonestly is, is just key to having a happy, spiritual, God-filled life, right? You, you should want to lie to yourself and lie to other people every day about what you want and what you need, right? No. Bullshit. <sighs> Dishonesty is not a family value, which makes homophobia not a family value either. And anyone else who doesn't realize that, wake up. Smell what you're shoveling. It's not pretty. There is a reason why the tide is turning against you, and it is not that uh, there's some big conspiracy out there brainwashing people. I, I really think that it has a lot to do with the fact that people are um, in some ways becoming more accepting and more compassionate of other people that have differences of all kinds. So just deal with it. Uh, so another good family value that homophobia promotes, promiscuity. Because <laughs> it's okay if you go out and have sex with some random stranger of the same sex, if you then run to Jesus and beg for forgiveness and feel ashamed and dirty and, um, you know, like a good little person should that, that has this kind of feelings and are just right. Or, it's best, certainly, if you're going to be gay, that you should understand that marriage is not for you. Committed relationships are not for you. They have no value. They're not only not valuable, but they are a threat to other people, to other families. Right? I'm sorry, if promiscuity is not a value for heterosexuals, it's not a value for gay people either. And so go to hell for promoting that. You should be ashamed. And that is how I feel. You know, and I'm not saying that... You know, that that sort of behavior is inherently unforgivable. I'm just saying that by encouraging it, um, you're really undermining the values that you claim to represent. And it's yet another reason why people are disgusted with homophobia and want it rid of their lives. And another family value that homophobia promotes is sexism, um, valuing and defining absolutely what you are, what you're capable of by your genitalia or whatever gender it is that you're perceived to have. And while I will acknowledge that, you know, probably 90% of men and women are very characteristic of whatever gender it is that they're that they have or that they're assumed to have. Um, a significant portion of people have a significant portion of characteristics of the other gender. And those people should not be boxed in and told you can't do this because you're X gender or you have to do this because you're Y gender. It's bullshit. You know, I understand that sexual, ge that, that gender differences are real. I'm not disputing that at all. <laughs> 
but they're also not absolute. And people need to understand that, they need to respect that, and they need to act accordingly, and that's just the way that I feel. And the final family value that I'm going to talk about homophobia promoting is the family value of not accepting yourself and not loving yourself or others, for that matter, unconditionally. Which, you know, I feel is something that we're supposed to do. If, if there is a behavior or characteristic of yourself that is, that number one, you can't really change, and number two, isn't really hurting anyone else, the trying to force you to change it or to feel like you must hide it is it's a destructive force and that's just all there is to it. Um, I think people need to accept and love themselves, their whole selves, not just the parts that they, that they like or that society accepts. Now, does that mean you go out and, and just do whatever you want to do and hurt other people? No, you still need to follow the golden rule, but there is nothing in loving or having sex with a person of the same sex that violates the golden rule. And, and people that feel that there is, they're just reaching. They're just trying to justify their own prejudice, and it's pathetic. So, obviously this is something I feel passionately about, and thank you for watching my video.